Good morning, First Baptist Church, Westlaco. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Christopher Cowan, and I have been given the opportunity to be the new interim youth pastor. I look forward to this opportunity, and I, I just, I'm excited. I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I have a beautiful wife, Michelle, and four children, James, Amadeo, Gwen, and Nova. You'll see two of them in the band playing music with me on the second service. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my background. I was born Corpus Christi. We moved down here when I was a small child. I was raised by a single mom in the Catholic faith. I mean like very, very Catholic. But eventually there was a drawing away from it. At the time, I probably couldn't have been as eloquent for the reasoning why, but now I can. So a little over a decade, ended up in a church that we, we stayed there for nearly 10 years. I participated in our worship band, and eventually my kids started filtering in as well. But it was maybe a little before Corona struck that there was a draw to look deeper into my faith. Sometimes I felt that I was one of those lukewarm Christians. And as I dove into scripture and into learning, it, it was a snowball effect. It got greater and greater, and then there was a draw to go to seminary school. I really don't know what I was, I didn't know what I was gonna do with this goal when I'm done, but my goal is to be useful, and I'm hoping here I will be. Working here on, on the farm, you start seeing things that have certain uses, and each one of them is valuable in different ways. But together, they make a farm. Just like we, as people in the church, have different skills, and different abilities, but we bring them together and we make a working body. Not for profit on a farm, but for the betterment of our brothers and sisters in Christ and for the glory of God. We are fortunate that this youth program has been built up pretty strong and coming in at this point is a blessing. But it wasn't built by one person or a small team. It's built by people by the church, by volunteers, by the deacons, by the leaders. So this is kind of an invitation to y'all. We need some help. We need some volunteers. We need people that aren't afraid to be in front of the children, in front of the kids, playing with them, teaching them. So if you're interested, if you're up to the challenge, if you're not afraid, contact me. We'll put you to, put you to use. Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. Proverbs 16.